Now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, our program is almost concluding. And before we do conclude, please allow me to welcome onto the stage from the Africa India Economic Foundation, um, co founder. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Well, uh, Velu wrote a speech for me. Velu, you wrote a speech for me, but you know me, I don't read. So I just want to talk to this audience. First, to thank our brothers from the African Union who made this possible and who accepted years back when my visionary partner, Ratna Velu, decided that we should create the Africa India Foundation after creating Team 9, as you saw in the movie. It was a dream because it's not every day that Africa Union welcomes I don't want to say private sector people, but almost in their facilities. And again, thank you very much for having us work on your side. Thank you, sir. Excellencies, Bill wanted me to give a special thank to the ambassador of Nigeria. I would do the same to His Excellency the ambassador of Angola, not because I'm building the tallest tower in Angola, but in Africa, in Angola, but he happens to be the ambassador of a great, great country which we cherish. Uh, of course, you know I have a son from here. Yes, the gentleman here next to me is the son of Sheikh Tarek, who is my wonderful friend and brother and Excellency, thank you very much for having come to represent your great father. Well, um, I think everything was said that I needed to say. I will just add something very important. The new Africa we're trying to build is a real win-win situation we wanted to create. You've heard of win-wins before, but we don't walk. This is the, the thing of the century. You cannot walk out of your... American Express, you cannot go home without it. What we're trying to do is build the new Africa with our partners and in this situation with India. As you know, India has more than 60 million small and medium industries. The whole Africa has about maybe twice that number. What we are trying to do is duplicate what we did about 20 years back changing the fact that Senegal, to take this example, was buying buses from France. And as special advisor to my then president, we went to India, and we decided that 20 years after, we will be building our own buses with the help of India. So today, when you go to Senegal, you don't see Siemens or Renault buses anymore. You see Tata buses manufactured in Senegal. And we think that this is the type of things that we are expecting. We are building new cities, new smart cities, and I don't know if we'll have time to see one of them. If we don't, it's not, we'll put it in the, uh, it's on the uh, internet. We are trying to build new cities with the help of other countries, especially with the help of India, with a technology transfer. I think we have to remember that up to now, we've been buying things again from abroad. 
But the new Africa we want to build together with you guys is to have technology transfer. And I think that our friends from GP World started doing it. We know that they are training our folks in Senegal so that in years to come we can take off. Sir, thank you very much. We appreciate the great work that you people are doing in Africa, especially in my country, Senegal. We, to give you a hint of what we're working on right now, we are doing, you all know about the uh, new Silk Road. Our foundation is working with Steel Authority of India to see how we can build in Africa what we call the new steel and aluminum road. Because as you know, most of the raw materials come from Africa. Today, they take, people take our folks with load boats that will make sometimes 15,000 kilometers to bring them to Asia, to America, to be transformed there and come back to us. By the grace of God, we discovered oil and gas in Africa, in Senegal. Senegal, the mineral port that DP World will be has uh, begin has begun doing in Senegal is just 500 kilometers from the port of Kansar, where most of the world aluminum comes from. That is in Guinea. The bauxite makes more than 10,000 kilometers to be transformed and come back into aluminum to Africa. With the India Africa Foundation, we are trying to build a siderurgical hub where we'll take the technology from India, we will take the bauxite from Guinea or the iron ore from uh, Sierra Leone. As you don't know, Sierra Leone is one of the biggest producers of iron ore. They take the iron ore, it makes another 15,000 kilometers to be transformed into iron, into steel or whatever. We are changing that. And this is the new game. We'll be melting all that in Senegal with the gas that was discovered. Now this is the call, this is the invitation that we are making to the world. And also have our African Union help us do this transformation. I was very lucky as a, a Senegalese to meet the new president of Africa Union, my president, my old president Macky Sall, and he decided that he will put it to the Africa Union so that this year to come be the year of transformation of the raw materials of Africa. I can carry on and carry on with building new, as I told you, smart cities, and we want your expertise to come and help us build these cities. The first one that we'll be building is the one in, in uh, DRC, which will be the new capital called the Kitoko. And what we are saying is that we will not import any more things. We want people here, people in India and all over the world to come and manufacture materials in Africa. And this is the call of the All Africa India uh, Foundation. And again, I want you to give a roll of applause to Mr. Ratnaville. Very pleased to be here. He's a very humble man, a hard worker who does all the work. I'm just sitting in Senegal. He says, Pierre, can we do this? I say, yes, sir, go ahead. He does the whole work. I do the talk. Thank you very much. And uh, very
This guy is an Indian, but he's also an African, a real African. Please give him a So I just want to mention one thing. In two, I met Pierre in the 1998 when I was doing a project for Senegal and he was the architect. After finishing the project, I said, Pierre, I got an idea about team design. One person who believed in the cause blindly took me straight to the president. And the president, you just didn't see why. He made me the consultant advisor. I was with him for eight years. And whatever I said, it was done. In fact, we have a the chairman of the Hindu Jal group, Ashok Leyland, with whom we went first to the doorstep and they did not respond. Then we went to Tatas, and Tatas totally responded, and we put the assembly plant for Tatas.